Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. It's Kara here and I am back with day one of one month in my bullet journal. This is round two. If you don't know what one month in my bullet journal is, be sure to check out my playlist, which I will link somewhere in this video and also in the description box below. And I just wanna jump into today because I'm super, super excited. So I'm gonna open up to today's daily page um, or yesterday's daily page, we should say, because we're actually gonna plan for today. So this is yesterday at the end of my day. You saw me plan this out in yesterday's video and you can see here what I actually accomplished. So anything with an X in it is obviously something that I completed. Sorry, I'm moving the light closer here because I feel like it might be better. Okay, and then all of these blank ones are things that I did not get around to yesterday. So I had an appointment that I completely spaced on <laughs> because I was deep entrenched in working on my traveler's notebooks inserts. Ugh, that's a mouthful. I was working on my TN inserts yesterday and I kind of got obsessive about them and everything else kind of fell away. Uh, grocery shopping, luckily my husband did that on the way home from work, so that got done. And then on the bottom of the page here, I wrote down some notes from a webinar that I attended yesterday. And one thing about notes, like if you're taking notes from a phone call or in class or whatever it may be, I find it best in my personal opinion, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do is take my notes elsewhere. So I take my notes on a notepad, or in this case, I actually used my iPad. So I'll show you here. Um, I use the Good Notes app, and I have a whole notebook within Good Notes that is just for notes. So I actually have a ton of notes in here from all sorts of different things, but during the webinar, Yesterday, I just took a lot of kind of scribbly notes, writing things down as we went. And then later on, I was able to look through all of this and really kind of pull out what the important information was that I wanted to remember. And that's what I wrote down in my bullet journal. So I'll always have kind of these key points in my journal for later. And then I do have all those kind of crazy scribbled notes if I ever wanna go through those as well. Oh, and one more note from yesterday is that I added this task at the bottom after I shot the video. I wanted to email Brian about going to the DC Pen Show because I was talking about wanting to do that this weekend and he has convinced me that I should definitely go. So I'm definitely going on Saturday. So if you're in the DC area and you wanna go to the Fountain Pen Show and you wanna see me there, uh, let me know. I'm actually going to be posting on my Instagram stories and everything the whole time that I'm there. So if you're in the area and you wanna check it out, I'll put the link to all the information down below for you. I think it's just $9 at the door, so super cheap. A lot of cool people are gonna be there. Lots of awesome fountain pens, of course. It's a huge show, and I am excited to explore and kind of wander around, hopefully meet some of you guys. All right, moving on, let's set up for today. All right, so I got my pen case ready to go, and we're just gonna start setting up. The first thing I always do is draw out my time bar at the top of the page. And I used to kind of get really decorative with this time bar. I'd draw a border around it. Sometimes I'd put a shadow on it. Sometimes I'd put turn it into a banner. And as time went on, it really just became way more function over pretty for me. So I keep it really, really simple. I just write out AM, PM, and the numbers, and I don't do anything else to it. Then I can just highlight what I need and go from there. After that, we're gonna fill out the weather, which I've already checked out. It's gonna be a little cooler today, which is pretty nice. And sunny. All right, so we got a little sunshine, and then I'm gonna write out Tuesday. All 
And this is another area where I've kind of really kind of minimalized my headers. I used to do the whole faux calligraphy thing. Sometimes I'd do different banners and things like that. And now I literally just write out the day and the date and then go from there. And sometimes I switch it up if I'm feeling particular, particularly creative that day and I wanna do something fun, I'll do that. But most days it's just very, very simple. All right. And now we are ready to fill in all of our tasks and appointments for the day. So first thing I like to do is look through my calendar to see what I have coming up. And in the past, I've been using the Calendex system and I still do from time to time, but I really don't rely on it anymore. I've started having so many more appointments and events that it's kind of hard to keep track of that way. And now I just keep everything in my calendar and that's my Google Calendar. So I have my Google Calendar synced up to all of my computers, all of my iPad, my iPhone, everything. So I always am up to date on what's going on and what's coming up. And then of course on the weekly spread, I had those written down here as well. So I haven't had any new appointments or events coming up for today, so I'm actually just gonna transfer these over. So at 1 p.m., I have a call with Grit and Wit. And Grit and Wit is a web design team. They are helping me with a website redesign, so I'm super excited about that. And then at 4 p.m., I'm putting my vinyl mandala stickers in the shop. All right, then we move on to tasks. So the way I treat my tasks is if they are not completed the day before, I still consider this to be a part of my to-do list as long as it's all on the same spread. So these open tasks, I'm not gonna rewrite over here. I just know that those are things I need to get on today. I also, since I missed this mastermind call with my friend Meg, I'm gonna create a task to message Meg to reschedule. All right, and then I'm actually going to put a little arrow here in this one to show that I'm moving it forward. Once I message Meg to reschedule and we plan out a time, then I'll put that in my calendar and it'll be done. All right, and then as far as other tasks for the day, I'll sometimes just rack my brain and think of things that I really need to get done, but the first thing that I like to do is go to OmniFocus, and I showed y'all how I'm using OmniFocus kind of to incorporate GTD a little bit more into my bullet journal, and if you haven't seen that video yet, feel free to check it out, but I have the OmniFocus app here on my iPad, so I'm just going to open it up and look at my forecast. This tells me everything that I have due or coming up due today. So I can see here that our dogs need their heart guard and Advantix this morning. I also need to clear my email inbox, Etsy convos, and then the rest of this is stuff for my Positive Scribes handwriting course that I'm gonna be relaunching here in a couple of weeks. So these are things that need to get done regarding the course before the relaunch. So I'm gonna write a few of these down in my journal. The clearing my email inbox and Etsy convos, I actually don't write those in my bullet journal anymore because those are things that I do every single day. So I will actually go in and do that obviously on my computer and then mark these off here in OmniFocus. All right, so I know that I need to give the dogs their meds and then I need to work on positive scribes. All right, so that was it for my tasks that are coming immediately due that I really, really need to work on today. I also like to double check when I'm in here, I don't know if the screen will pick this up, but my calendar. So this shows down here that I do have that call at 1 p.m. today, so I don't miss out on that. And then I also like to just kind of rack my brain for anything else that I really need to get done. So 
since we're talking about going to DC on Saturday, I'm definitely going to DC, but we're trying to figure out if my husband can come with. We would just need someone to watch the dogs. So I'm gonna make a note to um, find out if anyone can watch dogs. Okay, and then I also like to look back at my weekly spread and things that are coming up and see if there's anything that I can pull off of here that I can work on. So I'm gonna have a pretty full day today, so I'm not gonna worry about the home stuff, deep cleaning the kitchen or vacuuming downstairs. Honestly, these will probably wait until Sunday. For Etsy, working on the TN inserts, I'm still kinda tweaking those, so I could work on that a little bit today. Shop photography, I'm redoing photography for all of the items in my shop. That's gonna be a full day project, so I'm gonna save that for another day. And then I have the resource library cleanup, which is actually on my task list from yesterday. So that's still considered today. And you know what? I really think that my plate is going to be full enough today with this. All right. So black pen is done. I'm going to pull out my colors so that I can color code. All right. So, oh, and if you're curious about the Tombow colors that I am using, I will link those in the description box below for you as well. All right. So I'm going to fill out my sleep. All right, and then my morning routine, there we go. And then I think pretty much the rest is work stuff. All right, so these two appointments, I'm gonna highlight with green over here. So I have one at 1 p.m. It's a phone call with grit and wit. So I'm gonna highlight an hour there. I don't know how long the call is gonna take, but I'm gonna block off an hour. And then at 4 p.m. I have my vinyl mandalas in the shop. So I'm just gonna lightly highlight it so that it's there as a reminder that I have something to do at four o'clock. All right, let's see. We have for work, obviously I have cleaning up the resource library and adding new mandalas to the resource library. I also need to message Meg to reschedule work on positive scribes All right. and then for personal or home we have the dogs meds and then finding out if someone can watch the dogs this weekend so i am going to highlight pretty much my whole day with work I'll take a little lunch break there there we go and then have a little bit of time for personal tasks and errands at the end of the day and then blank is my free time so you'll notice I have basically a half hour here that I'll eat some lunch and then I have some free time in the evening and I almost forgot about coloring in a little sunshine okay um, also today I just remembered um, I signed up for show me your florals um, I'll link some information down below for this but this is hosted by Becca um, the happy ever crafter and she's pretty known for the show me your drills series or class um, but she is teaming up with a girl named Stephanie who's great at floral watercolors and they're hosting a challenge this week. It's free to participate. I'll put all the information down below, but I'm going to be learning how to do watercolor flowers this week with them. So I'm so excited about that. That starts today. And I'm sure I'll be posting about this on Instagram later too, because it's going to be a lot of very pretty, pretty watercolor work, which I'm excited about. Okay. So I am set up for today. The other thing that I do is go through my trackers and see what I need to update. So I'm gonna put this bookmark back on today and go back to my full month. Hopefully this is in frame. I just realized I didn't know if that was in frame the whole time. All right, so my tracker on what I accomplished today, obviously I'm gonna fill that in later or maybe even tomorrow morning when I do my video with you. My sleep log, I always fill out from the night prior. So today being the first, I can actually fill that out. 
All right, so I had to pause recording for a second because I realized that my sleep information is actually on my phone, which I'm using to record this video. So I jotted it down on a quick post-it note. I will definitely post screenshots somewhere on the video here for you so you can see the app itself, but I'm just gonna fill in my sleep log. So I went to bed late last night again, and I haven't decided what color I'm gonna use here. I think, hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to keep it light and pastel or do I want to, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to do it in gray. I think that's my plan. All right. So we've got a light gray. All right. So I slept from midnight until almost 7 AM. So let's say midnight until seven. Is that too light? I don't know. That's okay. All right, so I slept almost seven hours, which is great for me. I just wish that the timing had been a little bit different. I really, really, really wanna go to bed like an hour earlier and wake up an hour earlier. All right, and then my heart rate throughout the night, minimum was 70, max was 91, and my average heart rate for the night was 82. And then according to my app, my quality of sleep was at 72%. And the app uses a lot of different factors to figure out the quality. It uses like how much you toss and turn, uh, whether you in, were in REM sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, et cetera, and your heart rate, of course. So I could also fill in any notes in here if I wanted to. I think I'm just gonna leave that blank. But yeah, so that's my first entry on my sleep log for August, which is really exciting. Okay, so yeah, the rest is gonna start to get filled out tomorrow and we are all set up for Tuesday. And I'm gonna go attack this day. I hope that you're going to as well and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.